اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Cron batch alpha. In this session we are going to talk about Cron batches alpha and how it can be used to assess the reliability of a construct. Now in our studies what we normally have we've got a latent variable that is measured using multiple items. So if I am interested in measuring organizational commitment I might ask my respondents four, five, six questions. Now if I want to assess whether those measures are reliable, I have to use a particular statistic. In this case, we are going to focus on Cronbatch Alpha. There are other statistics as well and we will talk about them later. Now what is a reliability? Reliability is a measure of consistency or stability of a test or measurement. In this case, measurement means the items that are used to assess a particular construct and the items to which the respondent responds based on choosing the options that are provided. It refers to the extent to which a test or measurement produces the same results over time under different conditions or when administered by different people. Now, for example, I'm measuring organizational commitment or organizational performance using four or five items. Now, what do I mean by these items? Let's say if I'm interested in measuring organizational commitment, my first question could be, I love my job. So a particular respondent responds to this statement by selecting the option. It could be from strongly disagree to strongly agree. The second question is, I believe in my organization and I I will have the same response scale. The third question is, I like to or tell people that I love my job. This is the third question. The fourth question could be, I am not looking for another job. Now these four questions are measuring organizational commitment. Now this measurement would be reliable if it produces same results over time, that is when it is used at, in different time periods, under different conditions and when administered to different people. Now reliability is an important consideration when assessing the quality of a test or measurement. The most common method is internal consistency reliability. Now this is a measure of consistency of a test within itself. It is calculated by comparing the scores of different items on the test. And the most common one is Cronbatch Alpha. A test of measurement is considered reliable if it produces consistent results over time under different conditions or when administered to different people as we described earlier. Now reliability is often considered an important characteristic of a test or measurement as it is necessary but not sufficient condition for a test to be considered valid. Now there is a difference between reliability and validity. A particular measure can be reliable but not valid. Now what are the range of alpha values that are acceptable? Now there are different opinions about it. I've got some here. Nunnally suggests that an alpha value of 0 0.70 or higher is generally considered acceptable. George and Mallory 2003 suggest 0 0.60 or higher. And here and others suggest 0 0.70 uh, which is considered acceptable. 0 0.80 considered good and 0 0.90 is considered very good. So normally if it is over 0 0.70 you can say your construct or the measure is reliable. How do we analyze Cronbatch Alpha in SPSS? Let's go to Analyze, Scale, Reliability Analysis. Now I am interested in Organizational Performance Scale, OP1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because these five items are measuring organizational performance for me. 
put it in here go to statistics let's say i want descriptors for item scale scale if item deleted and we can have other statistics as well but for now i'm just going to use these ones just press continue i want alpha and just press ok now here are your results here is your case processing summary here is your reliability statistics what is it it is 0.912 which is greater than 0 0.70 so in this case we can say that our construct is highly reliable item statistics that is the mean value for each one of the items item to total statistics now this is very important here what happens if you remove a particular item what happens to the construct and this can tell you furthermore how to improve your alpha values as well so if i remove op1 what will happen to my cron batch alpha it will jump to 0.913 now if you look here this is 0.913 originally it was 0.912 so you are making a change at third decimal point now there is no point removing it because your alpha is already very well or it is highly reliable so if you remove any of these other items look at the alpha values what happens to the alpha it decreases so you only remove an item if your alpha is going to improve beyond the acceptable value let's say your alpha was previously 0.5 but if you remove op1 it jumps to 0.913 then only you may remove op1 Otherwise, there is no need to remove OP1 because the original value for alpha with all the items was already above the required limit. So you do not need to remove it. Otherwise, if it is not improving, you can check corrected item to total correlation because these five items are measuring the underlying construct. So the corrected item to total correlation should be high and the minimum is that it should be over 0.30. So if it is less than 0 0.30, that is, if it is less than 0 0.30 here, consider removing the item and see how it improves your alpha values. Finally, you can have the scale statistics for the complete scale, the mean value, the variance, the standard deviation, and the number of items. Now, how do you report cron batch alpha results? Here is an example. Now before this, just make sure that if you've got multiple variables or latent variables in your study and that is obviously will be the case, you do cron batch alpha calculation for each latent variable separately. The five item organization performance scale was used to measure the performance of the organizations and the scale consisted of five items and here is an example and was administered to these this many people the cron batch alpha was this 0.912 indicating high level of internal consistency so this is how you can report your cron batch alpha for a particular construct so this is how you can perform reliability statistics or reliability analysis in spss thank you very much